All right, all right. This next one is using the Julieta. So we're just gonna accelerate. This is a manual again, but I'm lazy shifting it. And um, from what I recall, this one is a little bit of a heavier car. Doesn't quite turn on the dime. It has a little bit more power. And by the way, I put the microphone very fancy stand. I put it on a chair. Okay, so don't downshift at first. That's a lesson learned. Let's remember that. Because clearly, that was not the ideal line. And uh, yeah, so having the microphone on the chair should prevent the force feedback wheel from forcefully speaking to the microphone. Because you know, the table transmits the vibrations of the microphone and all the other yada it's, it's not going to Say in second gear, let's Accelerate really fast, okay, and run that message. And, uh, it's a relatively maneuverable car. I, I don't really get, I don't know what people think about hot, hatch, hot hatches. I don't know if you personally think about hot hatches, but, uh, I personally think they're ugly. And I don't know where my brake point is. That looks not too bad. I didn't brake really hard, I just braked really slowly. So it works for me. Too little braking, late braking. We have a nice little uh, oversteer as so we very sloppily move across the field. It's not too bad, but it was not great. Not great, but still, I think that this is a good learning tool, and I, I do like this part about the setup course. That yes, it makes you kind of wait for the what you really want to do, which is race. But what's a race if you haven't trained? A lot of racing is actually, I've been to a track before I uh, track my car, and it's a lot of preparation, to be honest. It's a lot of, you know, learning to set the car, and learning to lay the track, and making sure you get everything right, and learning that you can't exceed the limits of your car, and trying to get the brakes, uh, pads back on, and then getting the right tires, and coilovers trimmed and all that sort of stuff. So, and after that, you know, you go back to the simulator, you look at your laps on the uh, on the video recording, and you look at the simulator, see what you can improve, try to hit all the apexes and all that good stuff. So I think it's kind of the same thing in a set of course, which I like. I appreciate the fact that you can practice a little bit, hone your skills before you actually go on a race, because you need to learn the track. And even, even different I, I really missed this before going out on track for real you know just on a simulator and just bring it out to you as much or even watching the races like on an F1 races and so on but just different track conditions and I'm not even talking to rain or shine I'm talking about if it's cool outside well maybe your engine runs better because it's just cooler and easier to cool but the tires will get colder too, and there's that balance, you know, you, you don't want to rip your way off the racetrack if it's 7 degrees Celsius outside, you're gonna, and I've already done that, I've spun my car, uh, and yes, it was extremely scary, and yes, I almost lost my car in the barrier, I was uh, millimeters from absolutely shooting my G37 into the wall, and I just, you know, it, it, it just lost it, like there was just a patch of water, and it was a rainy day in the morning when it was rather cool outside, chilly. Uh, terrible re recipe for disaster. And I thought, you know, let's practice. And I kept traction control off and voila. Just got a little bit nervous on the last lap. You know, not even going quickly, just trying to accelerate out of a turn. <laughs> Spun the car. That part of the track is that uh, my car is, uh, is it make a very, 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 very embarrassing mistake for a race driver. Completely unacceptable. I'm fired. So yeah, that part of the track uh, had a barrier all the way across the night. Embarrassing mistake that I should not be when first gear. Apparently, first gear is totally useless on this car. So go figure. Yeah, I shot it to the barrier. You bet that I put traction control on, and uh, was uh, great 
equal to for having uh, saved my car because I'm going through a difficult moment in life and that would have been made it a little bit sadder, you know. But I guess I've gotten a Toyota Camry and uh, that would have been the end of my lapping career whereas I live to try lapping another year. Slightly missed the apex. I've heard that, in fact, if you want to do your best laps, you know, six inches off the apex is leaving seconds off the table, and I can fully do that. Very important to try to cut the corner as much as possible. Uh, slow down. Slow down until you make the curve, and then try to accelerate out the curve. I think that's the, the reason for the dictum slow in, fast out. Don't miss the apex. Don't miss the apex. Even there. Could have been closer, tighter, a lot stronger. Now, this is probably one thing you don't want to do in real life because the uh, vibrators, oh, that. The vibrators really hurt your wheel bearings, but in the game, you know, why not? It causes scent. Although, if you want to practice, for some weird reason, uh, practice your fake uh, wheels. I guess it can save you tired as well. Anyway, I don't know if wheel bearings exist in this little course. I don't think they're. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think they're simulated. I think the tire temperature is simulated very well, and the tire degradation, but not. Wheel bearings. So, we're doing quite well. We lost uh, 66 points to it mistake and uh, my goal is here is to kind of learn how to ease off the gas pedal you know and ease on the brakes ease off the brakes do a little what they call trail braking so we want to we want the weight of the car to transfer properly and also I'm trying to get my lines right obviously I don't have some right for this track I would need to do hundreds and hundreds of go rounds to get the line correct but you know, we've got things to do and it changes per car so and now that was a, a, a mistake I shouldn't be letting go of the brake and braking it that's because well first of all that's because I braked too early but it was it's also because I wasn't controlling my speed before I got out of the apex which means that I had to brake second which is no good if you ask me and now also I'm in fourth gear which is rather slow but I think it, was, it turns out alright because of the fact that you wouldn't want to be oversteering out of the turn of traction control or catch me. So we're going to go back to second gear, which is fine, and we hit the side of the which is not so fine. But it was an okay exit in terms of speed. It's just something that you wouldn't want to do in real life. Again, I just wouldn't want to do it. And going back to first gear just once again, I'll just say the first gear in this car is completely pointless. Why would you have first gear? <laughs> you go first gear is so not tall that you just get right back out of first gear. You're basically limiting your speed. It's like speed limiter gear. Make any sense? I guess you can heat your oil. Although so why you want to heat your oil is just beyond me. Yeah. If you want to test your oil cooler, because what happens is that when you overheat your oil, and this is the difference between. Uh, Oil and synthetic oil. Synthetic oil is able to uh, go over a wider range of temperatures without hurting itself. Okay, 135. So let's go on to the next track.